Welcome to an introduction video about Service Master Software. My name is Alistair Cole and I'm the managing member of EES Computing. We are also the owners of the Service Master Software. This video is an overview of Service Master and what we're going to be looking at is the, are the basic features of the product uh, all the way from creating a new customer to receipting payment for for an invoice on a on a customer's account. So let's dive straight in. On this computer I have already installed Service Master Client. I'm going to open the application now. So there is Service Master Client and uh, previously logged into this application so Service Master has recorded my username and password. I'm connecting to the eescomputing.co.za server where Service Master Server is installed. When I click the refresh button, I can see the list of companies that I have permissions to log into. I'm going to log in now. I'm logging into the trial version of Service Master, and so what you'll notice on the right hand side, there is a, a help menu that'll help you get started when you're using the trial version. The main features of Service Master are shown on the bottom left hand side of the screen. Today we're going to be looking at creating a customer, a work order, an invoice and receipting payment for that invoice. When I click on customers I can see a, my current list of customers in the middle. I can also see a preview of the selected customer on the right hand side. I'm going to go and create a new customer account. There we go. So this is a new customer account form. I'm going to enter the details of that customer account. That's all the information that I require in order to save this customer account. You'll notice that the three fields I've entered are the three mandatory fields that are required by Service Master. If your company has other mandatory fields, you can adjust you can adjust those mandatory fields by going into the company options and selecting which fields you require. I'm going to click on save now and I've just created a new customer account. All work orders, leads and quotes are linked to the site address of the customer account. So I'm going to now go and insert a new site address for this particular customer. OK. Now I can go and create a new work order for this customer. Simply right clicking on the site address and say new work order is going to achieve that. I'm going to enter the description of the work that the customer is called in. So here I'm going to enter un, uh, blocked drain. Okay, there we go. So there's your new work order. This is work order number 10 uh, for Dale Andrew. If I go out of this and I have a look at the main section of Service Master under work orders, I'll notice a new work order that's been logged over there. My next step is to issue this work order to a team. So I'm going to open up the work order and select a team and issue this work order to uh, issue this work order to team number one. My next step is to basically give this job card to to the team. If the team is in the office. I can simply print out the job card and hand it to them by clicking the print button over there. If the team is out of the office, I can SMS this job card to them. Service Master has a, a two-way SMS functionality to be able to send and receive SMSs directly. Okay, let's assume now that the team has gone out and done the work that they wanted to do and they've now handed back the job control sheet to the service controller to enter that into Service Master. So I'm going to open up the job card 
and enter the work that was done. With Service Master you can pre-select services and products that you would like to record against a particular job. I'm going to now go and record one hour's worth of labor on this job. So let's assume that the team got there at 10 o'clock and left at 11 o'clock. Service Master has then entered, uh, I've just entered one hour's worth of labor for this job on Service Master. You can see the effective hours over there and there's your labor and there's the default call out on, a particular, on this particular job card. The default labor rate and, and call out fees are customizable as per the, the customer account type. If I wanted to, I could also record any services or products that are used or done on this particular job. I'm going to select this job card as completed and save and close it. The work order has now gone into a section of called to be checked. There it is over there. So this allows your service controller to financially review the work order before it gets invoiced. By ticking totals checked, you have confirmed that you are happy with the 200 Rand that's going to be billed against this particular work order. I'm now going to go and create an invoice for this work order. Simply clicking on create invoice make service, go, service Master go off and create this particular invoice. There is the total of the invoice and, uh, and everything is pretty much done for you. You can send this invoice to your client by um, the following methods. Service Master will record all the, the delivery history uh, of this invoice so you know when and who sent this invoice to the customer. It's simple enough to create to receipt payment when the customer does pay by clicking the receipt payment button. Service Master again will pre-populate all the fields necessary for you to record payments. You can record partial payments of the invoice or the full payment for the invoice, uh, the payment method and the terms and conditions of that particular payment. Other features that I've not described that exist in Service Master uh, would would be um, features that record employees' information, team information, contacts, suppliers, manufacturers, the details about the products and services that you can render on a particular job, requesting feedback for work that was done customer satisfaction reports, quotes and estimates, and tasks, internal tasks that are issued to your, t to your uh, service controllers and teams. So that is a basic overview of Service Master and its features. My name is Alistair Cole and uh, I'm the managing member of EES Computing. For more information, please visit our website at eescomputing.co.za forward slash service master.